I think there's two things that most people agree on. First, you don't mess with kids. Once someone has been exposed acting inappropriately around kids, such as with EDP or Colleen Ballinger, their careers tend to end quickly, as that's something no one wants to tolerate. Aside from kids, most people also seem to care about animals, and when it comes to light than influence or harmed an animal, that also tends to end careers as well. A prime example of this is the influencer Brooke Hoots, who was scorned by the internet and completely gave up her social media career after it came to light she was mistreating her dog. Now, if you thought being rough with your dog was bad, a new social media personality recently admitted to doing far worse. The individual we're talking about today is Emma Clare, who is an Australian Instagram model that primarily focuses on makeup tutorials and being the best girl boss she can be. She's amassed over 100,000 followers on Instagram, modeling her carefree lifestyle, and earlier this year decided to start a podcast with her social media friend Christy, which they named Simply Chaotic. They filmed a total of one episode of the podcast, and that one episode was an enough to end Emma's social media career when she made the following statement. I killed my cat. <gasps> Context, <laughs> please. I didn't mean to. Uh. I was young. I was a child. And I, I was like swinging my Not cat excuse. around. Like I was just thinking it was like a, like a stuffed toy and I accidentally let go of it. <laughs> and it died. It died from the fright. No, 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 no. Yeah. My sister did not speak to me for months. Blame months. Up. And my mum was fucking fuming at me. And yeah, I killed it. And then if you really want to like know more about me, I also killed my best friend's cat. Now that has to be one of the dumbest things I've ever seen someone willingly admit to on camera. First off, she did say that she was a child when this happened. And while I agree that something you did as a child shouldn't be held over your head your entire life, there are some problems to address. The first issue is that she openly told this story. This was a clip actually posted as an Instagram story to her 100,000 followers to promote her new podcast. Many people had a huge problem with it because she seemed to think it was funny and showed no remorse in the clip at all. Second, this isn't something most people do as a child. Normal people don't casually pick up their cat by the tail and swing it around like a stuffed animal, all the while I'm sure it was screeching its head off the entire time. She also admits she killed her friend's cat as well, so this wasn't an isolated incident. I also want to point out that killing animals as a kid is something that is well documented among serial killers like Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy, and John Wayne Gacy. Now, I'm in no way calling Emma a serial killer, but killing cats as a child is not something most people are doing, and the fact that she thought it was something to joke about now that it's decades later is pretty alarming. As most people would guess, the internet did not take kindly to this clip, and Emma began receiving hate messages and even death threats. While I in no way endorse anyone sending threats to Emma, I can understand why people got very angry with her after this admission on her podcast. Emma, much like many social media influencers do when they get called out, decided to double down instead of giving a simple apology. Emma released an Instagram post that only infuriated more people that stated, To the people offended by my story in today's simple chaotic episode that I just shared, it happened 21 years ago. I was a small child, accidents happen, and you all need to chill. I hope that you are not the same person you were at nine years old. I could have been even younger, you know, ha 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 ha. And I can confirm that after that accident, I have been the best mother to multiple cats, including my baby Fred. It's a bit of light humor in a get to know us episode. And if you can't handle that, then Simply Chaotic ain't for you. So bye. To everyone who has messaged about the episode with positive feedback, we thank you. Thank you for not taking things too seriously and understanding the humor. Simply Chaotic is a space for all the hot messes out there to just be themselves and not worry about getting judged by, lol. Again, sorry not sorry for an accident that happened over 20 years ago, and sorry not sorry for having a giggle about it because I think still 20 years on, I'm in shock by it. Obviously, that apology did not go over well with anyone. Much like Colleen Ballinger and other social media influencers who got caught doing inappropriate things, I have no idea why they don't just have an honest apology and be sincere instead of trying to make it seem like it was no big deal and everyone is just overreacting. She also calls it an accident in the response post, but I would hardly call twirling a cat around by its tail an accident, and when you end up killing two cats on different occasions, that seems more like a choice than just a simple accident. That response to the initial video landed Emma in even more hot water, and at that point, pretty much all the makeup companies that had done business with her in the past decided to cut ties, with her biggest sponsor, MCO Beauty, releasing the statement, It has come to our attention that Emma Claire recently released a story on her podcast discussing an incident of animal cruelty from her childhood. We were dismayed by the story, and will no longer be working with Emma in the future. Here at MCO Beauty, we take instances like this extremely seriously and do not condone animal cruelty of any kind. 
Thank you to all those who have taken the time to bring this to our attention. It should come as a shock to no one, but once an influencer starts losing out on brand deals, their attitude quickly changes because now it's hurting their wallet. Following the loss of her sponsors, Emma decided to release a second response with a very dramatic shift in tone from her first post. Hello friends, I would like to jump on here and firstly apologize for the story mentioned in episode one of Simply Chaotic. I'm well aware that the story was not light humor and in fact very serious. It was not intended to come across the way that it did as it was simply just a story from the past about an accident that was made as a little kid, but I can see how it has come across like that. I have taken time to think about my actions and want to confirm that I do have empathy about the situation and it's not something I am proud of as it really hurt myself and my family 21 years ago. I am a loving person to all things living and have since been the most amazing cat mom to multiple cats and dogs. I am now also a loving mom to a little boy and have definitely grown up from that little nine-year-old kid. Again, I deeply apologize for those affected by an accident that happened in the past and I hope we can leave it there. Since that post, the Simply Chaotic podcast has been shut down and Emma hasn't posted to her Instagram account as well. Before her final post, Emma brought up the topic of cancel culture and how people were trying to cancel her. While I'm not a fan of cancel culture, I would have to disagree with her on this scenario. This wasn't something that was dug up from her past and released to cancel her. This was an Instagram story that she personally released to create marketing for her new podcast. This was a self-inflicted social media career ending move. Emma has no one but herself to blame for ruining her online image. This also goes to show that the well-known saying, all publicity is good publicity, is simply not true. There is a line in the sand that what you can do goes too far and people will not tolerate that behavior. It's pretty amazing to me that some people think they can say or do anything and should be rewarded with more views and followers for simply being the wildest person on the internet. Those who are social media influencers or who aspire to be that need to understand that your actions online have consequences. Admitting to killing multiple cats when you're a kid or sending lingerie to children in the case of Colleen Ballinger is something that is career ending and people need to realize they can't just act like a crazy lunatic for views. People need to understand that the internet isn't your friend and will happily turn on you if you do something they feel is worthy of being canceled over. Common sense is something that is in short supply these days, but would do wonders for many influencers if they were to start displaying it. Hello everyone, Scott here from the editing room, and I just wanted to add this at the end and say that Emma and Simply Chaotic are trying to do everything they can to remove all knowledge of this from the web. The Simply Chaotic podcast has been removed. I will have a link to the Wayback Machine uh, video of their podcast so you can take a look at it. The part about the cat killing was edited out of the video, but there's a bunch of other weird things that she talks about in the video, including having severe anger issues. Fun fact about me, I have severe anger issues. Ooh. I had them my whole life. I know how to control them more now, especially because I'm on antidepressants. Mm. So they kind of like keep it intact. But yeah, I literally started seeing somebody at the age of like, I think I was like seven. Like a psychologist? Yes, yeah. when I first started seeing somebody. Because I was diagnosed with ADHD at the age of four, wow. which they don't do anymore. But no. back in the days they, they did. And then, yeah, around that seven, eight is when all my like anger issues started to arise. And what did you do when you were so angry? Like, did you like... I broke someone's nose. <gasps> So I just wanted to add that in as well. Again, there's a link below. I don't know why you would admit to all of this stuff. I, I do find it very odd today that people want to put their entire lives on the internet. All of this stuff is there forever. Now people, uh, Emma only has herself to blame for her career being ruined by admitting this on her podcast, right? So just, you need to be careful what you put on the internet. Uh, if you're a person who's going around killing cats, that's probably not something you should, you know, talk about on a podcast for the entire internet to see. That's an incredibly stupid thing to do.